one of the biggest challenges with CrossFit is that there is such a wide array of exercises, skills to master that sometimes, let's say that someone is training by himself, he doesn't know what to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, as a coach, uh, having worked with many different people, do you find that there are certain skills, certain exercises that you should be focusing on with most of the people you're working with? A, skill, a set of skills that if you master them, then you're going to be able to do pretty good at CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, actually, when you think about uh, skills, you have to think about uh, what, kind, what muscles are working in those skills first. So let's say we think about also uh, the, the major skills that are going out from all the big competitions. So you're going to have for sure what everything that is around muscle-ups. So bar muscle-up, ring muscle-ups. Well, which one is the hardest to master? I know that my wife does bar muscle-ups, but yeah. when she tries ring muscle-ups, it doesn't It's hard. Up. It really depends. Some people are going to have the ring muscle-up first and the bar muscle-up is hard. It's really depending. It's, it's really depending on each each person, uh, but actually, it's the, the 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 movement starts from the from 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 the same pattern. Actually, it's a it's a hollow position, and you're gonna do a, a hollow rock from the bar from the ring, and it's gonna be a movement coming from producing energy from my hips going to uh, to uh, to the top of the position, mm -hmm. and this is where the people have a lot of problems using that exercise because they think it's a pulling, mostly a pulling yeah. exercise, but it's a whole body exercise mm -hmm. starting from the hips. So uh, this is the first exercise I want to master. Then the second one will be probably everything around uh, handstand push-ups. So uh, a, 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 a pressing movement is super hard because all your body you have to transfer doing a strict uh, push-ups from the ground. Uh, and on this one you have all those kipping push up when you yeah. can work on the deficit push up with your hands on the plate, with your hands so it's on the same parallels. scale but different level of exercise. Exactly. So these are the two main focus. And if you look at the regionals uh, event, these are the ones that uh, are always killing a lot of people. And these days you can see also uh, more upper body uh, strength endurance type of exercise like legless rope climbs, yeah. which is a killer for, for mostly for girls also because mm. uh, it's, it's a little bit more, you're gonna have like a couple of more girls and regionals that are more like uh, 135 to 150. Um, and they have smaller ends, so it's, it's hard on the grip. I, uh, yeah, for sure. That. And if you can look at like the best, the best actually, their ends are a little bit more, uh, bigger yeah. than the other ones. I was looking at like, uh, I was at regionals just behind, I was looking at the best, it was like, just looking at like, like yeah. the, the, the ice between like the bigger of their hands and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the fingers, and was like all the best, I'm like, good ends, you know, so you, I was like, okay, so their grip is going to be like super good and for sure their lift is going to get better because of that. So, you know, you can, you can think about like freely like this, but still. Which brings me to a different question completely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, how, do you, how important do you think grip strength is for performing in CrossFit? It's super important, actually. Uh, when we talk about this, you can see the grip differently. You can see the grip on the bar, and you can see the grip when I'm carrying something, and you can see the grip when I'm on the bar. And that's one of the, one, one of the things I, I, I train a lot. So uh, if your grip strength pulling from the ground is not so good, you're going to do tempo from the ground probably a couple of If I see that when you do some farmer's walk, you have one hand going out, and then you're going to work on that farmer's walk for building your strength. And if it's on, uh, if it's on you, the, the bar, you're not going to probably just doing toes to bar. You're probably going to just hang on the bar yeah. and le let's say we're going to add a weight and go like for a 45 pound and you're going to try to hold as much as you can. You can go with one arm hanging on the bar, on the ring, but this is comp uh, these are elements that are super important in the performance that I'm going to place always like at the end of my workout. I'm really glad you but, mentioned uh, that hanging with weight because the one thing yeah. I always say is that let's say that you want to be able to do like 60 kipping pull-ups. Yeah. Well, 60 kipping pull-ups is going to last you about, what, 35 seconds? Yeah. Maybe be 40. Uh, well, if you can't even hang 45 seconds on the bar, how can you do 60 pull-ups? Exactly. It's impossible. And, and, yeah. and when you do the kipping, you have the, decel the acceleration downward, which taxes your grip even more. So that's why hanging with an added weight is what will improve those skipping pull-ups. That's it. And I, I, I add, add the two, two, two persons I can, I can give like an example. On this one, people think about grip to the bar. They're going to go, okay, we're going to go like complex of 
skipping pull up toes to bar and grip is done or you're gonna, gonna put it in a metcon with uh, running or something but uh, uh, you're not gonna train so much your grip while doing that if I'm taking that example I'm, I'm saying okay what we're we gonna do for your grip today we're gonna go with a 45 pound uh, weighted hang in scap retractions mm -hmm. go for a max effort so if I, you can do 25 reps like this 20, do 25 reps like this if, if it took you like uh, 70 seconds but that's good you went on a max effort hanging on the bar time. and that's a lot of people not doing it they're gonna go like for the skills directly instead of going for the hang in and go on your and top your endurance to the max yeah and if so I basically take, you, you basically are using a movement that taxes the nervous system to fix a muscle weaknesses that's it and the and the other point to see it is I can take I got a big guy he's super good at everything but his grip on the bar is not so good so yes we did that but when we go in a, in a workout the transfer was not so mm -hmm. well there was a transfer but it was like very more crossfit specific yeah. so in crossfit instead of going toes to bar and everything i was like let's go put the bar away a bit we're going to do like just one exercise let's say toes to bar we're going to go with kettlebell swing and roll climb using your hands all the way and there you're going to try to build your grip endurance with that so that's another way to train it also so grip is uh, super important in crossfit actually I think that's a very important message. I believe that for CrossFit, of course, but if you want to get strong overall, I think a strong grip is so important because yeah. that is what transfer force to the bar. Mm. I can use myself as an example. My best snatch, as I mentioned, was around 42 kilos, but that was with straps. Without straps, I had a hard time doing 125. So that was like a 20 kilo difference just because my, my, my hands are small. I didn't have the grip strength to transfer all my potential strength to that barbell. Instead, if I would have been smart at the time, instead of like training for my ego by always using strap because I, I could use more weight, I would have focused mostly on drills, increasing grip strength. Yeah. Uh, like uh, on, on the Olympic lifts, I would have snatched without a hook grip. Like yeah. snatching or cleaning without a hook grip is very good for improving the grip. Would have done high pulls without a hook grip or just, as you mentioned, isolated work for the, for the yeah. grips. And I like also the, that, that uh, pronated grip uh, Romanian deadlift also which is totally different from your deadlift. Like you, you, you have the, the, for example, you put like 275 on your deadlift, you go mix grip, you're all good. You, yeah. you put pronated grip and it's like, you're doing like four yeah. or five rep and it's like hard as hell, you know? Yeah, pronated, so uh, pro, pronated snatch grip deadlift. That, that's that's a, a good one too. Yeah, I've seen that. Like <laughs> Ilya Ilin, yeah. Ilya Ilin was, is probably the best Olympic weightlifter, I wouldn't say ever, but he's like one of the best Olympic weightlifters. Sadly, he's been like suspended, but he was still pretty good. Now, his best snatch in training was 205. His best snatch in competition was 195 or 192. And he had a hard time deadlifting 185 kilos without a hook grip on, on a, just deadlifting. So that, that shows, I mean, the guy, the guy snatched mm. 420 yeah. pounds, but with a hook grip. He couldn't deadlift that with a regular grip. Yeah. So that shows you um, how much harder it is to deadlift uh, I mean, it's funny. That's I, I, crazy. I was seeing a video yeah. of uh, like Klokov, yeah, and he was deadlifting with the fat grips. Yeah, I like, know those things that you put around the barbell that's about two inches wide, and he, he did like uh, three three hundred and sixty five pounds. People will come in and well, that's easy. Everybody can do that. Yeah, but you haven't seen the fat grips. Yeah. That guy, yeah. that yeah, guy yeah, yeah. deadlifts seven hundred. But like, if you put your hands in a weak position, I mean, he had the same leg muscle, he had the same lower back muscle, same glute muscle, but yet he could deadlift 300 pounds less yeah. just because he had a weak grip because exactly. of the side grip. Exactly. So that shows you how much importance yeah. the grip string has if you want to transfer mm -hmm. a force to the barbell. Mm -hmm. Yeah.